like to give a big welcome to everyone here today for this momentous occasion. It's a great honor that the governor and the legislature have shown great respect and I would say uh, great care for the National Guard. And there's two pieces of legislation that they worked on during the session that I think have a lot of promise to help members of the National Guard and their families. You know, when I first spoke in front of the legislature at the request of uh, Speaker Smith, and I mentioned the statistic of 30% of our people coming back from Afghanistan didn't have jobs to come back to. Uh, we recently got more fidelity, and, and we're still at around 26.5% of our returnees do not have uh, gainful employment. So any help that we can have to get our people back to work is good for Vermont as a whole, good for our members, and good for our families. And I, I know that this jobs bill may or may not be a silver bullet, but I would say that there's also great value in the messages it, that it sends. And the message that these bills send is, that the citizens of the state of Vermont appreciate the service of our members. And we want uh, the citizens to know how much we appreciate the support that we've gotten, not just at the legislature, not just with the governor, but around the state of Vermont. So I'd like to introduce Governor Shumlin and say thank you, Governor Shumlin, for your leadership on these issues. General Dr. Doobie today. Because, uh, I was pretty proud to be at UVM's uh, graduation and see the best adjunct general in the country get an honorary degree. So let's give him a hand. Yeah. And I shouldn't say this publicly, but I, I know that neither of his parents ever thought that they would have ever seen that happen. <laughs> Speaker Smith for being here with us today, as well as Representative Ernie Shad and uh, Representative Warren Kitzmiller, who are here and work hard on these two bills. Thank you for your leadership. We appreciate it. Uh, and I also want to welcome my Secretary of Economic Development, Lawrence Miller, who's doing an extraordinary job for us, and uh, Clayton Clark, who worked very hard on these bills. And Clayton, great honor to have you here with us. Uh, just a couple of quick uh, comments that I want to make about these bills uh, before we sign them, before the some other folks make a few comments. First of all, to all the people assembled here, I can't tell you how much we appreciate your service and how proud we are of the Vermont National Guard and of all our service men and women in Vermont. It's no secret that Vermonters have made a greater sacrifice for our freedom and for the kind of victory that made the capture and killing of bin Laden possible over the last few weeks. Uh, that we have made a greater sacrifice than most. And across Vermont, I don't think we've ever been more unified in our appreciation for our troops, our men and women in uniform. Uh, we had more deployed in Afghanistan and Iraq than at any time since World War II. And as far as I'm concerned as your governor, we cannot do enough for the families of our men and women who have served us and are serving us and for our returning veterans. This first bill that we're going to sign, the tax credit to help get our veterans back to work, really came about because of a speech that General Doobie made to the General Assembly at the beginning of the session. And he said in his speech, and he given us an update of how the Guard was doing, that roughly one-third of our returning servicemen and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom by going overseas, some of whom, as we know, didn't return to us, that 30% of them come back and have no job. And many of us felt in the legislature like there was something we needed to try and do about that. So while we can't solve all the problems, this first bill that we'll sign basically gives a $2,000 tax credit 
to any employer that gives a job to one of our returning veterans. It doesn't say necessarily, we're telling you who to hire. What it does say is, as a state, we're proud of the men and women that served us. We owe them something. And if you have a job, and there's two or three or four people in line for that job, we're asking you to hire our returning veteran. And we're giving you a financial incentive to do that. Now, we happen to know that the experience that they have abroad gives them more experience to be an incredibly valuable, valuable employee because of the skills that they pick up in their service and in their training to, uh, before they're deployed and during their deployment. So this is a good bill for our families. I am incredibly grateful to General Doobie for bringing the problem to our attention. And let's hope that this makes a difference. It also gives a $2,000 credit, just want to make the point, to any guard, man or woman returning who starts a small business. And it gives them an immediate tax credit there. The second bill is part of a, not a larger national effort that basically says to our soldiers who are deployed and who are career uh, folks in the military, that we're going to ensure, along with the 39 of the states, we're now the 39th state to join this particular pact or commission that's working together, that we ensure that when you have to move because you're being reassigned to a different base, that the school systems across this country will have one uniform system to make sure that your kid gets placed in the right grade, that if he needs special services, there's no delay, that we get them the best educational opportunities that we possibly can, given the sacrifice that you're making of raising a family when you have to move a lot. It's that simple. Right now, the national statistics are pretty stark. For those that are career military men and women, your children, K to 12, tend to move schools seven to nine times between kindergarten and 12th grade. That's a lot of moving. That's tough enough on a kid to have to readjust friends, peers, community. So this pact is important because it's saying uniformly, we're going to have one set of criteria that makes sure that our school districts, our principals, and our states are responding to those children's needs, despite the fact that they're having to move a lot during their mom or dad's career. So that's important. And that's what these two bills do. And I want to turn it over to, in this order, first Speaker of the House, Shaft Smith. Uh, Senator President John Campbell sends his regrets. He, too, was very helpful in moving this bill. But the Speaker made a real commitment to making sure that both these bills became law. Uh, and then to Clayton Clark, uh, as who, as you know, is with the State of Vermont's Office of Veteran Affairs and did an extraordinary job helping us with both these bills. So, Mr. Speaker, it's an honor to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here uh, with you, uh, General Doobie and Governor uh, Chumlin, Clayton Carr and Lawrence, and uh, the two people who uh, really helped shepherd this through in the House, uh, Representative Kitzmiller and Representative Chan. It's also nice to be here with uh, some friends of mine uh, from college who are in the uh, audience uh, who I haven't seen for a while. Um, I bet you never thought that you'd see me here. <laughs> uh, probably the feeling is mutual. Uh, so, um, but uh, as, as Governor Shumlin said, when we um, uh, started the session, uh, General Doobie came uh, to speak to the legislature at the invitation, uh, at my invitation. And uh, in that speech, he really outlined something that was startling. Uh, and the unemployment uh, figures for returning uh, veterans and National Guard members uh, was really stunning. And uh, through that information, we were able to formulate uh, this bill with regard to the unemployed veteran tax credit. And it is our hope that this will spur hiring for veterans. And we know um, that members of the military uh, tend to be very, very good employees. Um, and oftentimes, employers are already looking for that kind of experience on a resume um, because they know that people from the military have discipline, they have good work ethic, um, and they know that they'll be good employees. But in tough economic times like this, we need even further spurring to make sure that people uh, can get jobs. And as somebody who lives in an area where uh, we frequently have uh, high unemployment in, uh, 
in Loyal County and, and in areas north, we know how important it is to get people back to work. And uh, I won't echo uh, the sentiments of the governor about the education bill, uh, but it once again helps working uh, with military families to make sure that the ease and transition as military families move around is as um, smooth as possible. Let me just close by saying thank you. Thank you for your service to the state of Vermont. Thank you to your service to the United States of America. And thank you for your service for all of us. And uh, with that, I will turn it over uh, to Clayton Clark. something that uh, uh, we heard from the governor and from General Duby, and that is that uh, when the tax credit bill went through the legislature, it went through a lot of different committees, um, and what I can tell you is, is that every place that it went to, there was consensus from all of the legislators that they had concern for you, and uh, I just want to make sure that that message uh, comes home. Uh, one of the things that my focus, uh, being a little different, is that I, I'm the bureaucrat that makes things work, and so... <laughs> What I wanted to let you all know is that before this uh, bill even made it through the House, that uh, folks in the Department of Labor and the Department of Taxes began working on the process to make sure that we could get this implemented as quickly as possible and that we expect to have something uh, out to you all. We will use the uh, Vermont National Guard uh, email system to make sure that everyone knows how to access this benefit as quickly as possible. And I can tell you that already knowing kind of how that process is going to work, uh, that it's going to be a pretty uh, simple process for anyone to use. And so I'll just limit my comments to that, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.